join kids hat family bye melly i will call you later hey tofu how was your day oh it was such a fun day dear you know that new boy who has joined my class kate yes the one who all the teachers like so much well not anymore they don't what do you mean tofu some of us got together and got her into real trouble with the teachers the teachers think it was all her fault tofu that's horrible how could you relax tia no one will ever know i am very disappointed with you tofu but you know what evil can never win what are you talking about tia snow white and the seven dwarfs Once upon a time there lived a king with his wife Sadly they had no children This made the queen very sad On a winter day when it was snowing heavily The queen sat in her garden and prayed with all her heart to have a daughter as beautiful as the winter fair as snow and with lips as red as the last red rose that bloomed in the garden her prayers were answered a year later when she gave birth to a daughter just as she wanted But the childbirth was so difficult for the queen that she died during it leaving behind the king and their daughter snow white as time passed the princess started asking for her mother father where is mother why don't i have a mother soon you will have one my princess The word spread in the kingdom that the king had decided to remarry. Families who had daughters of marriageable age started trying to impress the king, but no maiden could win his heart. Till one day, an enchanting woman showed up alone at the palace. The king fell in love with her immediately and they were married soon. My queen, this whole palace is yours. It is your own home. Go where you like. Ask for whatever you want. Thank you, kind king, but all I need is a room to store my mirror. that i have brought with me yes i noticed that all you have brought is that large round mirror i am happy as long as you are happy dear oh you know what will make me truly happy what is it your death The queen was actually an evil witch who had pretended to be nice so that the king would marry her. Her true motive was to have a kingdom of her own. She had only one other desire, to be the fairest woman in the world. Every day She would stand in front of her mirror which had magical powers and ask it the same question 
mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? It is you, O oh Queen. This went on for many years. The Queen ruled the kingdom without any real love for its people. The people suffered under her reign, but no one dared say anything because they knew that the Queen was a witch. The Princess Snow White also had a similar fate. The Queen did not even bother to look at her even once and left her alone and lonely. Till it was Snow White's 16th birthday. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? Snow White. No! How dare you say that? I do not lie, Queen. She must die! She must die! God, come in! One of her most trusted guards came in. Take Snow White and kill her now! But my queen, she is just a child. Do as you are told. Yes, my queen. Afraid of the queen's anger, the guard took Snow White deep into the jungle to kill her. But as he raised his sword to kill her, he looked into her blue eyes and lost his courage to strike. He just left her there and ran. Lost, Snow White wandered deeper into the jungle. There, she came across a tiny cottage. She decided to enter it. Look at this tiny home. I wonder who lives here. She saw seven tiny beds. A dining table with seven small chairs and a kitchen which had seven plates and tumblers. There is seven of everything here. I think seven people live here. But why is everything so small and tiny? Snow White was just looking around when seven dwarfs entered the house. It was their home. Who are you? Oh, hello. I didn't hear you come in. My name is Snow White. I am the princess. The princess? We saw a royal guard kill a roe deer and pull its heart out. Yes, and he was mumbling to himself that he will tell the queen that he had killed the princess and brought her heart for the queen. Yes, the Queen's guard brought me here. I think he wanted to kill me, but ran away, leaving me alone. Don't worry, Princess. You can stay here with us. That way, you will be safe. Oh, thank you so much. Snow White started staying with the Dwarf Brothers. In the day, they would go out into the jungle to hunt and earn money. While Snow White would stay home and cook for them and take care of their house. They all lived happily together. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Snow White. 
You are lying to me because I didn't visit you since you said this the last time. I cannot lie when you ask me something. But Snow White is dead. Snow White is alive. Your God lied to you. That God will die and so will Snow White. Using her magic, the queen disguised herself as an old woman. She even made the mirror tell her where Snow White lived now. As she entered into the jungle, she saw Snow White filling a jar with water from a stream. I am very thirsty. Please give me some water. Yes, yes. Here, please. Have as much as you want. Thank you, dear girl. Please take this apple as a thank you from me. The apple looked so beautiful and tempting that Snow White just couldn't say no to it. She took it from the old woman but she didn't know that the queen had poisoned the apple. As soon as she took one bite of the apple, the poison affected her. She fell down, stopped breathing and had no heartbeat. The queen became very happy and rejoiced as she made her way back to the castle. But she was too distracted by her joy and fell into quicksand. With no one to help, she sank and died. Meanwhile, the dwarfs came home and saw Snow White lying there dead. They were heartbroken. Who did that to her? I think the queen found out about her. Look at that black half-eaten apple. I don't want to let go of her. Let us keep her in a glass box. And so the dwarfs kept her in the glass box in the garden near their home. Every day they would keep a red rose on her box. One day, a young prince came into the forest. There he saw the seven dwarfs sitting by Snow White. He got down from his horse and went to see. His eyes fell on Snow White who was in the box. Who is she? What has happened to her? When the dwarfs had finished telling him everything, the prince was sad too. I am in love with her. I wish I had a chance to meet her once. Now all I want to do is kiss her. And so the prince lifted the lid of the glass box and kissed Snow White. As soon as he kissed her, Snow White opened her eyes. The curse of the poisoned apple had been broken. My princess, you are alive. Your love woke me up, dear prince. Encouraged by the prince's support, Snow White decided to go back to her kingdom and face the queen. When she reached there, she found out that the queen was dead and the kingdom was joyous to have the princess back. Snow White took over the throne with the prince by her side and even invited the dwarfs to come in the castle and stay with them. 
with her return the kingdom was joyous once again tia can you please take me to kate's house i have to apologize to her right away i think i have been evil to her good decision tofu yes i will take you there come on let's go thanks tia and i promise tomorrow i will tell the teachers the truth too did you have a good birthday tofu yes very much and look at all the lovely gifts you've got uh yes why what's wrong mm, nothing is wrong but i just thought grandmom could have got me a better gift than the single rose flower tofu that's not a nice thing to say you didn't notice her love for you that made her fly all the way across the country to be with you today love but that's not a gift Maybe you'll think differently once you hear the story of the Snow Queen. The Snow Queen. Once upon a time, in a small village lived two neighbors who were best friends too. Their names were Gerda and Kay. They loved each other a lot. As a symbol of their friendship and love, one day they both planted a rose plant each in their front yards. Every morning, they would get together and water their plants and take care of them. When winters came, Gerda invited Kay. Why don't you come over in the afternoon? My grandma has promised to make us a cup of hot chocolate and tell us a story. Okay, Gerda, I will come over after finishing my chores. As promised, Kay went to Gerda's home in the afternoon. Tell us the story of the Snow Queen, Grandmama. Bah! There is no Snow Queen. Do you still believe in such stories? Little did Kay know that the Snow Queen did exist. And she had a magic mirror with which she could look at anybody. And right at that moment, she was looking into Gerda's living room where they sat. Doesn't believe in me, does he? I will send him my ice arrows that will turn him cold. All the love will be gone from his eyes and his heart will freeze over. And the Snow Queen sent her ice arrows towards Kay. As soon as they entered Gerda's home, they went straight for Kay's eyes and heart. Ouch! My eyes! What's happening? They hurt! What is wrong, Kay? Ouch! My heart! It hurts too. Kay, what's wrong? Are you okay? Suddenly, Kay's whole behavior changed towards Gerda. Oh, stop being such a wimp, Gerda. Nothing is wrong. Get away from me. Saying so, he shoved Gerda aside and went home. Over the next few days, he would give cold, mean looks to Gerda and would never talk to her nicely. 
he wouldn't even come to tend to the roses that they had planted. One morning, when Gerda was watering the plants, she saw Kay get into a carriage with a lady who was wearing a white gown. She had skin like diamonds and her hair was silver white. Gerda immediately knew that it was the Snow Queen. She decided to follow her, but the carrot just vanished into thin air. So she went to her grandmama. Here, take this hand mirror and follow what it tells you. The mirror only tells you the truth. Gerda took the mirror from her grandma and looked into it. The mirror told her to find the flower garden. So Gerda went looking for it. Meanwhile, once the Snow Queen reached the palace, she told Kay to make it his home from now on. This is your home now. You will never leave here. And once your heart freezes over, you will be mine forever. Back in the village, Gerda found the flower garden and entered it. The garden was full of the most beautiful flowers Gerda had ever seen. She fell in love with them immediately. But there was no smell of the flowers. Surprised, Gerda bent down and touched one of the flowers to understand if they were real. As soon as she touched one flower, the fragrances of all flowers returned and the flower lady appeared in front of her. Thank you! You have returned the fragrance of my flowers. Who are you? I am the owner of this garden. I am the flower lady. Can you help me? Have you seen my friend Kay pass through here? He has been taken by the Snow Queen. Oh no! The Snow Queen! She is one who had taken away the fragrance of my flowers. I did not see Kay cross from here. But you should try the river outside the village. Gerda thanked the flower lady and went to the river. There she saw a boat waiting for her. She climbed into the boat and it took her to the pirate ship. Aboard the ship, Gerda saw many pirates including a girl pirate. Hello, can you help me? I am looking for my friend Kay. The Snow Queen has taken him. I don't know any Kay. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Because once aboard the pirate ship, you can't go anywhere. You have to be here. No, please, you have to let me go. Kay is my friend. I have to save him. Friend, you say? Heh, <laughs> well... I have never had a friend. Okay, I will help you if you promise to be my friend. Yes, of course. I would love to be your friend. Okay then. Take my reindeer. He is the fastest reindeer in the world. And she knows where the Snow Queen's palace is. Gerda thanked the pirate girl and climbed on the back of the reindeer. Just as the pirate girl had promised, the reindeer had Gerda outside the Snow Queen's palace in no time. Gerda got off the reindeer and went inside the palace. 
K? K? Are you in here? What are you doing here? I am here to take my friend back with me. <laughs> Your friend doesn't exist anymore. Look at him, standing there in the corner. Just in a few minutes, his heart will freeze over and then he will be mine forever. Gerda turned to see where the Snow Queen had pointed. In the corner stood Kay. His lips were blue and eyes were steely cold. Gerda rushed to him. Kay, it's me, your friend. When Kay didn't reply, she reached out for his hand. His old friend's touch returned the colour in Kay's eyes. Encouraged by this change, Gerda pushed on. Remember all the times we had fun at home? And our roses that we have in the front yard? There is no point in all this. His heart will freeze soon. Hearing this, Gerda broke down and started crying. <laughs> As she was crying, her tears rolled down from her eyes and onto the hands of Kay. As soon as that happened, Kay looked up at Gerda and smiled. Gerda, my friend, you came for me. This is impossible. Nothing can ever turn my curse over. She tried to pull Gerda away from Kay. And that's when Grandma's mirror fell out of Gerda's pocket. When the Queen looked into it, it spoke to her. Snow Queen, you have been mistaken. There is one power stronger than your curse and it is the power of love. Hearing this truth, the Snow Queen started crying and soon dissolved in a pool of her own tears. Oh, now I feel so terrible, dear. I think I have not been fair to Grandmom. Well, you still have time to make things better, Tofu. Yeah, you are right, dear. I will go to her and apologize right away. Don't forget to give her a kiss and a big hug. snowballs at me. Stop! <laughs> but that's how I play with snow. I love making snowballs. Tofu, it's five days to Christmas. Come, I'll help you make a snowman. No, we made a snowman last Christmas also. Harry will be upset then, Tofu. Don't you want Harry the snowman to be happy? Harry? The snowman? Who is he? I'll tell you Harry's story if you help me make a big, lovely snowman. OK, Tia. Tell me the story and let's start making Harry also. Harry the Happy Snowman Five days before Christmas Eve, Santa was working out in his gym, practicing his technique of dropping down through chimneys without getting stuck. <laughs> Santa has quite a possibility of that. Suddenly, one of his reindeers, Donda, came running in. 
He seemed rather distressed and worried. Santa, Santa! Harry the snowman has run away! I am panicking! Calm down, Donda. There is nothing to worry about. I will personally sort out Harry's problems and bring him back home safe and sound. Donda, alert the elves and begin a search whilst I head back to my sleigh. Santa took off to the skies to find Harry. One place, as he looked down, he saw Harry alone in the snow, heading away from Santa's village. Harry! Harry! Can you hear me? Santa pulled down and landed just beside Harry. But Harry ignored Santa and kept walking. Jump aboard, Harry. Get back in. Harry! But Harry kept on walking away. Santa shouted again. Harry, please listen to me. Talk to Santa. Harry slowly turned around, looked at Santa with tears in his eyes. Harry, my dear, there comes a point in everybody's life when you feel like running away. But that is not the answer. That's not the right thing to do. Please tell Santa your problems. Harry looked at Santa and broke down. Oh, <laughs> no one ever listens to me. No one has time for me. Why me? I am just a stupid, worthless snowman. Nobody loves me. Harry, my boy, you are not worthless. Dry your eyes, wipe your face. Come, I want to show you how important you are. Jump aboard, Harry. Ho, ho, ho. Harry looked at Rudolph. He had his head hung low. Rudolph, my boy, take to the skies, I ordered. Let's prove to Harry how important he really is. And off we go. Ho, ho, ho. As they travelled around the world, Santa showed Harry millions of snowmen, all built by children having fun with the help of their family and friends. Look Harry, building snowmen bring people together. Harry, imagine a Christmas without a snowman. It'll be incomplete. No fun. Imagine our family without you. Rudolph, take us home. I command. Let's go. While the mood changed in the sleigh and everybody was happy, they approached the North Pole. Look, Harry. They looked down from the sleigh and could see written in the snow in huge letters. Welcome home, Harry. We love you. Everybody from Santa's village was there too to welcome Harry back home. This made Harry so happy. 
everyone clapped for Santa. Hmm, Harry could have made a big mistake by running away. But that is not the answer. Just talk to someone and you'll find the ones who have time for you and who truly care. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Tia! Merry Christmas, Harry! We all love you! Always be happy! Now go inside and get some carrots. Let's give Harry a big nose. Let me call all my friends to play and tell them to make more snowman. More friends for Harry. For your favourite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.